No need to fear. Give us some background about yourself. Okay, um, well, my name is Joel Carshwood. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter, um, musician. I play guitar, I sing. I also play a bit of drums and do a lot of lyric writing and stuff like that. The deepest of blues, it hides behind As you're waiting for you, for you to decide Okay, and solo performer, or what's your background? Cause I, I do know you used to be in Bridge 55, so just a very quick uh, chat about them and, and what you do yourself. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I was sort of chief composer for, um, the, for the band Bridge 55, and um, it was like a nice process. It was good, it was fun, um, but then like we had differences of opinions, and I decided that I needed to take my music and like perform in another way um, musically so I picked up the guitar and I decided like, just to um, start writing then I could write on my own terms and my own time and yeah things are just bubbling up with that. Blood is love and blood is what life gives Losing and gaining the pattern collided The deepest of blues it hides Um, I know that as a solo artist, how do you generally find finding gigs? How do you go about it? Um, for solo performers, it, it's a long, arduous journey, isn't it? You, you rarely get paid for any performances, but how do you go about booking gigs and what do you look to do? Um, well, booking gigs, you just got to be persistent, really. Um, there's a lot, of, there's a lot, a lot of um, bands and music acts out there that um, it's it's hard to think that you're just going to get. A, a gig just like that, you know, you've got to build some sort of reputation up for your music. If it suits a certain event type, you know, you, these things probably come around not very often, so it's, um, you just be persistent with the promoters and make sure, you know, you don't get angry with them or anything like that because you'll just lose your contacts at the end of the day. It's always good to keep everybody cool. Um, and as well, like for me, I've just been doing a few, but I've taken a little break, just got back in and hibernating, writing, and uh, got some new material together. So, you say you don't want to burn your bridges with promoters or get angry with them. How do you generally feel working with them then? Have you had to bite your tongue? Have you had to...? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There's a few times where, you know, you, you, you want to get in at certain venues, you want to get your name into... A certain level, you know, you could go around and play the pubs, but if you want to get it up again, you've got to get into the right venue. Now, promoters are very busy people, as I understand, and you've just got to sit back and wait. They'll give you a call or they'll give you the heads up when it's good to go. But you did reach last year the final of Live and Unsigned and played at the O2, did you not? That, yeah, that was 2010, um, ah. and that was that was a fantastic, um, fantastic gig. It was really good, and then the company took me on to perform as a guest act um, afterwards. So I'd go and perform for other area finals, and then they held Live Fest at the R2 last year, and then um, I was asked to perform for the festival amongst other bands on the lineup with the I think like the Hoosiers, they were up, um, Tinchy Strider, and just other bands, and it was just a nice, a nice day some recognition for, for the hard work that you've done as well. Yeah, definitely. To be asked to go and perform back at the R2, it was really, really good. Um, you do feel that your work is being recognised and that you are worth performing, that you, your music is worth being, um, being performed. <laughs> As a songwriter, where do you get your inspiration from? How do you go about sitting down and writing a tune? Oh, to keep a pen and paper on you at all times. That's the best thing to do. Keep a pen and paper and just keep taking everything in and just use everything as an inspiration. If you start getting a bit down and, you know, blues are kicking, just, just sort of focus on what's going on around you and 
think of certain times in your life where, you know, if it did affect you in a, in a certain way, just write about it. That's it. You write about certain times. You don't write about what's not real because at the end of the day, you're just fooling yourself. And that's all come to pass and, and that's what you do. How many songs have you got in your back catalogue by now? Possibly about 40 songs, 50 songs. Uh, and you say you've just been writing a new set as well, uh, ready to record? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm just working on some material at the moment that hopefully um, it will be like, released possibly by the end of the year, but no big rush because I want to be, um, well, I'm just looking at instruments and stuff now and also musicians of what I want, who I want to play, what instruments and really just tightening up some ideas. I've got material floating all around my head, so I'm just grabbing it now and piecing it all together, jigsawing it all together. So, yeah. But if people want to hear what you've got already so far to date, where do they find you? Um, pretty much, for one, one place I think that's pretty good is um, just SoundCloud, I think, or you can Google my name and then it'll just send you to some of the stuff that I've been involved in. Um, that's Joe Carshud. Um, spelled a bit funny but it's K-A-R-C-H-U-D and yeah there's just music floating around everywhere <laughs> have we lost you? Have we no, lost no, you? no no that's fine, that's fine. Just... well in that case I'll, I'll cut it there mate because yeah. uh, that's been absolutely fantastic and it's been brilliant of you to pop down can't wait to get this video done as well so uh, we can't wait to see what uh, 2012 brings for you. I think it's going to be a good year, well, hopefully anyway. Thank you. Take care, man. Cheers, thank you.